Remembering Bishop George Murray, tonight it was by people who had heard his teachings, seen him on vacation, and even from believers of other denominations. He truly touched many lives. First News reporter Lindsay Watson shares the stories. He was a good guy. Um, I think he did a lot of good here. And yeah, just a sweet guy. Just, I think he was just a sweetheart. So I wanted to be here and see him. We just wanted to come and pay our respects and let him know again how much we love him. He's going to be sadly missed. Since coming to Youngstown in 2007, Bishop George Murray was known to spread love and light throughout the community. As many people came to St. Columba Cathedral to pay their final respects, they shared their favorite moments and memories. Yeah, he always said hi to you and how you doing and, you know, always welcomed you with open arms. This couple from Poland actually had a chance meeting with the bishop at St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands while on vacation. Two years before, he would come to Youngstown. We attended mass in a carport that was bedecked with beautiful flowers, uh, tropical flowers, and the priest arrives in a boat. It was Bishop Murray and a memory that these two won't soon forget. They say he never did either. But he was always receptive and seemed to remember us every time we met, which was very special of him. And always a special spot. And I appreciate we were able to pay our respects. A friend to anyone who crossed his path, Bill Howe, master of the Knights of Columbus fourth degree, said so many things made Bishop Murray special. He was also a fellow knight. His personality, his uh, love of the church, his uh, dedication to the church, and his, his willingness to be uh, a friend. Guy Sebastian reflected on a time that the bishop spoke to a group of men at Ohio Valley Teen Challenge. The interaction moved him and many others, both spiritually and emotionally. He was the kind of teacher that would welcome any type of question, whether you were a believer or not in a higher power. So uh, he, was a, he was an excellent teacher. During the prayer service, songs of praise could be heard in and outside of St. Columba, lifting Bishop Murray's legacy and the love he had for so many, a love which they shared right back. He was always smiling, always. Every picture I saw, he was smiling and happy. So it was a big inspiration for me. Lindsay Watson, WKBN 27 First News. Tomorrow, WKBN has special coverage starting at 1230, looking at his life, followed by the bishop's funeral at 1 o'clock. You can watch it all on TV, plus our website and mobile app.